Hello and welcome back to Flexo.expert peels. In this video peel, I'd like to talk about the sequence of colors in Flexo printing. How do you decide the sequence of your inks when you set up a new job? When we say CMYK, we mean the primary colors cyan, magenta, yellow, black. But do we really mean that they are printed exactly in that sequence? And why? And what about other eventual colors? In what sequence are they printed? Why do we sometimes change the sequence of our colors in printing? Well, let me tell you one thing. We shall not change the sequence of inks once we have determined our printing condition. The effect of color reproduction obtained from our printing condition is described in numbers, typically in one ICC color profile. The color profile therefore describes how our printing system reproduces colors in that printing condition. That's why we also call it output intent. If we change the printing sequence of our inks, the printed result will be different from what is described in the ICC profile. Thus, the printed result will not be predictable. Color proofs will not match because they refer to a different printing condition. They are simulating a condition that is not the one that we have on press. Sometimes we forget to consider that printing inks are not perfectly transparent. And, well, design software unfortunately sometimes doesn't help very much to see what happens when we overprint colors and change their sequence. Just as a quick example, we perfectly know that the blue that we obtain by printing magenta over cyan is different from the blue that we get when printing cyan over magenta. But on monitor, probably we don't see that difference. This happens because every ink has its own opacity or transparency. We would never print white ink as first color in a reverse print on transparent substrate, correct? Or a yellow as a last color on a surface print that would dull all the underlying colors. As a rule of thumb, the clear and lighter inks are less transparent, more opaque. Therefore, we will tend to position the more opaque inks under the more transparent ones from the observer's point of view. That's why, on surface print, we use a light to dark color sequence such as yellow, magenta, cyan and black. And on reverse print on transparent film, we prefer a dark to light sequence like black, cyan, magenta, yellow and closing with white. In any case, once you have specified your printing condition after optimization, fingerprint and characterization, you better not change your printing sequence unless you don't care if your printed results are not predictable. Don't forget you can take your basic training in flexography on flexo.training and if you need more advanced or customized training, you're welcome to contact me at any time. Ciao!